Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ava's hopeless move, Stefan needs EJ's help, Lucas has callers Days of Our Lives indicate that Ava Vitali may put Trip Johnson and Wendy Shin in grave peril. Stefan Dimera will essay to get EJ Dimera's help formerly again now that Harris Michaels knows he's the shooter. Lucas Horton will get callers at his new safe house. Is Ava Vitali making the wrong move? Days of Our Lives reveal that Ava has formerly shown Steve Johnson that videotape of Wendy and Trip in the palace where they're being help. Ava has been instructed to do exactly what Clyde Weston orders her to do or they will die. Unfortunately, Wendy and Trip have seen Rebecca Goldman, who wants them taken out. Now Clyde has hovered Wendy and Trip if Ava doesn't break him out of captivity. Steve and John Black will take on the task of helping Clyde. Will Ava be suitable to find Trip and Wendy in time to save them? Will Goldman end up killing Trip and Wendy before they can be saved? DOL Stefan Dimera turns to EJ Stefan asked EJ for help long before this medicine fire got this far, and EJ refused. Who exactly is Stefan asking to help him, the Salem DA or his Dimera family? By now Stefan should know that there's no fidelity between himself and EJ. Still, Stefano Dimera would have anticipated his sons to be there or each other. Clyde is formerly in captivity, so what further could EJ do with him? EJ knows that there's nothing the law can do with Clyde because he's obviously above the law. Clyde is running his medicine ring from captivity and that isn't likely to stop. Still, EJ the family could clearly call in his Dimera security detail and wipe him out. Days of Our Lives Ava's hopeless move, Stefan needs EJ's help, Lucas has callers Days of Our Lives Lucas Horton has callers Lucas has set up himself in a friary since he couldn't keep himself out of sight at the Brady pub Lucas also called Chad Demera and Everett Lynch to give an interview exposing himself as the crucial substantiation for the police. Now Lucas has a lot let access to outside media because of this. Kate Brady and Roman Brady will go to visit with Lucas and catch up on everything that's going on since that night he was attacked. Now that Goldman has been exposed as the dirty Bobby. Lucas clearly needs to keep his head down and stay out of trouble. Stefan signs EJ's escape deal. John's plan involves Ava's mob family days of our lives reveals that Trip Johnson started going a little perambulator. While locked up in the tank, so Wendy Shin took the lead on coming up with further imaginary adventures to distract him. Latterly, Wendy and Trip heard a noise outdoors, so they started calling for help. Trip and Wendy ultimately realized Officer Goldman had closed the reflections, so Wendy shocked over running out of air as Trip worked to calm her down. At home on Tuesday's day's occasion, Ava Vitali induced Steve Johnson and John Black O help her break Clyde Weston out of captivity since Trip and Wendy's lives were at stake. John suggested about a way to make Clyde vanish into thin air, but he said they'd need some outfit and backing from Ava's family members. Ava assured John that she'd make sure they were at the ready. At the Demera manse on Tuesday's DOL occasion, Stefan Demera downed some liquid courage and told EJ Demera that he fired at Harris Michaels, which was indeed further of a problem since Clyde was end happy he didn't finish the job. EJ hovered to call the police, but Stefan prayed for help since his life was on the line. Although EJ defied at first, Stefan argued that Stefano Demera want him to save his family. EJ eventually agreed to have Stefan transported to a safe position and arrange for his passage out of the country, hopefully nearly with no repatriation. In exchange, Stefan would have to subscribe over all his Demera shares, land effects and coastal means. Stefan complained since that would make him destitute, but EJ refocused out that at least Stefan would be alive. In the end, Stefan surrendered and inked the paperwork to secure his deal with EJ. Coming on Tuesday's day's occasion, Roman Brady assured Kate Roberts Brady that they were end followed as they showed up at Lucas Horton's new safe house, which was actually a friary. Lucas was living there as a monk, which he was end thrilled about since he'd no entertainment and was lonely. Still, Kate gave Lucas some snacks, books and a vim talk that lifted his spirits. As Lucas played cards with Kate and Roman on Tuesday's day's occasion, he entered news about Harris waking up and sought updates on the Clyde disquisition. Lucas bothered, he'd no way be free, but Kate and Roman pushed him to have faith since his family would be staying with love and affection. Days of our lives say Clyde's take down CA and be soon enough. 
Tate arrested for sneaking in Holly's window, EJ wants tardy back in jail days of our lives reveal that Tate Black will take matters into his own hands, so it looks like he'll L slip out of the halfway house undetected and make his way to the Demera manse. DOL suckers know Tate is hopeless for Holly Jonas to clear his name, so he'll L catch her off guard when he eventually sneaks in her bedroom window. Unfortunately, day spoilers say Tate will get fractured when EJ Demera and Nicole Demera find him there during the week of March 11th to 15th. After Holly begs EJ not to have Tate locked up again, she LL gets some support from Nicole. Still, EJ will be mealy over Tate's conduct and will hang to have him transferred back to jail. Maybe EJ will argue that the halfway house was end enough to keep Tate out of trouble. Anyhow, day spoilers say EJ will make sure Tate's arrested again, so Teresa Donovan and Brady Black are going to be furious. Of course, Brady and Teresa have not been happy with EJ's railroading throughout their son's whole fire, but they LLB enough mealy with Tate this time around, too. It's egregious that Tate's escape and Matt's eruption will make his current legal problems indeed worse. Days say Teresa and Brady will clearly give Tate a stern lecture, but he may defend his conduct and argue that he'd to try. Holly is the one person who can get Tate off the hook, but that can only be if she remembers the whole story and is willing to be honest about it. In the meantime, Tate will suffer with fresh consequences and wonder if he's ever going to get out of this mess. It seems like Tate just keeps getting tangled up in further drama, but there's light at the end of the lair. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Tate will walk free down the road, so stay tuned for updates on the good news that LL ultimately come his way. Sloan's shady legal strategy to help Tate, drag Holly and Nicole's name through the slush days of our lives note that despite everything Justin Kiriakis did to help Tate Black so far with his legal straits, Sloan Peterson Brady will be appointed as his new counsel, the week of March 4th to 8th. As Holly Jonas will end be suitable to offer any evidence on her end, what kind of cutthroat tactics will Sloan pull to get her teenage customer vindicated of all charges? Days of Our Lives Sloan Peterson Brady will go for the jugular DOL spoilers note that Sloan's counsel instincts will surface, and she LL have zero issues playing dirty. After all, Tate's trying to prove that he didn't give Holly any of the capsules that caused her to overdose, in fact, he was trying to stop her from taking them. Days of Our Lives Sloan's shady legal strategy to help Tate, drag Holly and Nicole's name through the slush still, without a substantiation to prove this, Sloan will have to attack Holly's personality, which may also mean attacking her mama s. Sloan may come up with a case that presents Nicole as an unfit mama. Holly had a veritably turbulent nonage, with some lack of stability. From having multiple stepdads over the times to Nicole's more recent jest. After losing baby Jude, Sloan could argue that Holly is a classic case of a teen turning to medicines because of her zero maternal supervision. Days the Eric Brady factor Sloan's tactics could work in the courtroom, but what will the impacts be when she comes home to Eric Brady? Eric's in a sticky position in the sense that he doesn't want to see Tate go to jail and likely believes he's innocent. Still, Holly has been like a son to him over the times, and the bond the two share is inconceivable. The last thing Eric wants is for Holly and Nicole's history to be brought up. Still, plus Nicole's, this could produce some issues in her family life if Sloan crosses a line by dragging the youthful girl's name in the slush. Will Sloan take the occasion to strike back at Nicole and Holly when she takes on Tate's case?